Alrighty, so we have our first construction update for the cliff jumping coming to Canada's Wonderland in 2020, because what better attraction than cliffs that you can jump off of at a theme park? Insert adult joke referencing jumping off a cliff here, but I'm not going to do that because I'm too afraid to be canceled by y'all. Um, but nonetheless, this is the first construction update for Canada's Wonderland's 2020 edition. This is one out of two. This is going to be a cliff jumping attraction where you will jump off like what looks like a Wonder Mountain Junior um, cliff and into water. A lot of people have been saying, oh, it's going to be dangerous, blah, blah, blah. The park's going to get sued. And no, that's not how it works. All the park has to do is instruct you how to properly jump off these cliffs into the water. And if a guest does not do so correctly following the signs and the instructions, it is their responsibility and their fault if they get hurt and the park is not liable. Um, nonetheless, as you can see, there are three holes dug covered up by wooden planks that say open ground or hole, I believe. I remember reading when we were on Behemoth. And the fencing around the area has been removed. If you look closely, there's a construction trailer over by the subway in Splashworks. If you look closely over there, which is pretty interesting. Um, this does raise a couple of questions. Usually when Canada's Wonderland does things, they have these unannounced renovations or additions to the park each year, um, like restroom renovations, restaurant renovations, or upgrades to park areas. So I am left to believe that maybe perhaps Splashworks in this general vicinity will receive some sort of Canadian theming to go along with the cliff jumping experience. Um, I did not get it in this video, but I do want to let you guys know that the, there is more theming being built for Yukon Striker. So the storage facility for the trains has been enclosed in a wooden structure and is being built and constructed in a way similar to the station. So it has these really cool um, windows and doors and kind of extra features coming out the top. So it is proven that Yukon Striker was not completed in time in terms of theming and things around the attraction. So maybe when we re when we return in 2020, you'll get to see the completed project. Um, we'll try and get that on our next drone update. Um, this one's a little outdated. So um, it has been difficult to find the drone as we've been getting a lot of rain and snow lately. Um, but our next update will get, um, get the Yukon Striker storage facility building um, included in that as it's nearly done. But nonetheless, um, the cliff jumping experience is about to be constructed by the looks of it. The fence is being removed for vehicles, and they got the three holes in the ground. I do want to bring up a concern of mine. So Splashworks is already not capable of handling the crowds that it gets in summer. And this grass hill that you're seeing it constructed on directly in front of you on the camera is a big part of Splashworks housing the people sitting there on their towels, the parents, the adults, the kids... Um, that's where they sit, and it now looks like it's going to completely be taken over by an attraction, leaving literally next to nowhere to sit for guests in the water park. This is a big problem. There's going to be guest complaints in terms of this. Literally, people last summer, if you walked through Splashworks, would be sitting in the mud, like the dirt off to the side of like the paths. It's just like there's no seating. The Splashworks is way too tiny. And again, this is just making me more fearful for the future of Mindbuster. It's sitting directly um, on prime land. Uh, there's the forest directly behind it. Some people are saying that's wetlands and they can't touch it. I do disagree. Um, I did look it up on the Vaughn Build It and Planet Board. Um, and it is showing as Wonderland's property and property that can be constructed on. So I'm not quite sure what people are saying by it being protected wetlands. It's not showing on the um, Build It and Planet Board for Vaughn. Um, but nonetheless, Mindbuster is definitely sitting on prime land. Again, I do not want to see this attraction go because um, I've actually fallen in love with it this season. So I'd like to see them move elsewhere, again, to the forest behind. But knowing Cedar Fair, they need this land for future hotel expansions if, one of, if their hotel succeeds um, on property. This is one of their big properties in the chain. So they're, they, they're definitely planning down the road, and it's very difficult to um, step into the shoes of Cedar Fair when planning for Canada's Wonderland. But nonetheless, um, I'm definitely really fearful for seating and guests um, interaction in Splashworks next season. There's nowhere to sit, 
and uh, Splash Works is getting really crammed. So I'm kind of excited and fearful to see how this goes. Anyways, hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't, and share this video for others to enjoy. Have a good one, guys. Bye.